where has COVID been? So COVID, because of what's going on in the Ukraine, has taken a back seat. And by the way, it's gonna serve as a great opportunity for our political class to pivot. Pivot! <laughs> pivot! So the pivot away from COVID has begun. You're gonna hear less and less and less of it, mark my words. The question is, do you see the playbook yet? Do you see the fact that the real issue with COVID and the talking points of the past have been that evil people will use anything for political purposes? So if you don't like being lied to, then you need to take notice of this. You need to take notice of the fact that COVID slowly but surely is gonna be slipped under the rug and all of a sudden we're gonna start claiming victory over COVID except for the fact that zero COVID was never anything but idealistic or a lie and COVID is, around, is gonna be around for, for much time still to come. But all of a sudden we're strangely gonna remove mandates and strangely remove masks and strangely pretend that no more variants will ever come again. I could be wrong about my assessment here. I'm walking out on a limb because I don't know what will happen, but I believe that right now this administration is gonna do the best they can to undo all of the draconian policies that they've implemented in this first half of Biden's presidency. And they realize it's not working, so they're gonna, they're gonna change the science along with change based upon the poll data so that they can get to things that are a little bit more popular. So once again, COVID is gonna be slipped under the rug. There's gonna be a pivot away from COVID and we're gonna move on into, into other things and we're no longer gonna be talking about it because it's not very popular, but it isn't gonna be because the data changed. It isn't gonna be because there's no more variants. It isn't gonna be because no more people are going to get COVID, but there won't be any more tickers of the death toll and there won't be any more uh, screams from Joy Reid about masking while she's running in a park by herself. There won't be any more of this, why? Because the Democrats know that their days are done with this stuff and with lying to people. They used it and abused it for as long as they can. COVID was their whipping boy to try to get people in, into shape and to try to pander to their crowd, but now it's a thing of the past. So I could be wrong again, but mark my words. If we find that they're no longer talking about it much on the mainstream media, then, then all I would ask for those of you who are intellectually honest people is to ask yourself, why? Why are they pivoting away from this? And is it possible that I was led to believe a bunch of things by a bunch of dishonest people and I was manipulated? It's one of the hardest things we'll ever admit in our lives that we were manipulated to believe lies because then we may have to admit something about ourselves. We're not as based as we think that actually we're pretty susceptible to, to the lies. Uh, that, that our media, and that our government tells us. But in the process of admitting it, there you go, friends, freedom. Because the first step to getting the help that you need is admitting that you have a problem. You can catch brand new episodes of Indie Thinker with Reed Uberman every Monday and weekly bonus episodes to keep you thinking throughout the week. But you have to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when new episodes drop. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like this video and share it with friends.